Hello. Welcome to another episode of Fun Learning Math with me. My name is Vanessa. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how we can make use of the model to help us understand this particular question. And once you you understood it, you may have you may do without the model. Okay, let's take a look. Thomas bought some toy trains at an average price of $42 each. He bought another six trains at $52 and the average price increased to $46. What was the total number of trains he bought? Okay, so here in this case, as well as I said just now, I would like to make use of model to help you to enhance your understanding of this question. So let's draw number line here, starting from zero and input all the numbers that you see in the question. We have 42, 52 and 46. All right, and then we were told that he bought some toy trains at an average price of 42. But the fact is we don't know how many toy trains there were at first. So let's, big, let's put a big block over there. And uh, we were told that he bought another six. So in the end, six more. Trains at $52. And we know that the average price increased to 46. So this model actually is pretty obvious that in order for all the toy trains to be 46, I have to take away this portion here. And then this portion will go to this to fill out this gap. Right? So effectively, uh, let's call it purple. The purple portion here must go to this side. Okay? And to fill out the gap. So that all, in total, all the trains would have an average price of $46. Easy? And how do we work out this purple region here? What is the amount of money? Easy. You see the difference here? 52 minus 46, which is $6. And we know that there were six trains. So the total amount becomes six times $6, which is $36. So this $36 will go into this portion here so that all the toy trains will be $46 in the average price. Right? And isn't it obvious? Again, on this, on number 9, you can see that 46 take away 42 is the difference of $4. Right? And then, do you know how many toy trains there were at first? Yes, because $36 would be distributed to one toy train, and one toy train need, needed $4 more, so that they could pull up to $46. Right? So, I have the $36 to go around, so 36 divided by 4 will give me 9. So, before, 9 trains plus he bought 6 more. So in the end, the total number of trains will be 15. Okay, so if this is a paper 2 question, whereby you have the calculator, you may even use calculator to help you check your work. Alright, you can plug in a figure, the figures. Um, 9 times $42 plus bracket 6 times 52 will be equal to 15 toy train and an average price of 46. Okay, but as, as you can see here, just now when we use the excess to fill up the shortage concept, um, you can actually see the numbers that we use are relatively small. So that will help to reduce the chances of students making careless mistakes. As simple as that, keep, in, keep things simple. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do like, give me a like <laughs> okay, for this video. And do subscribe to my channel for more videos. That's it. Have a nice day. And I hope you love math. <laughs> Goodbye.